local woman will spend more than a decade behind bars after going on a crime spree in 2022. The name Kelly Shugart might sound familiar. We've shown you videos of her crimes and talked to some of the people she victimized. Her case is now closed. Monica Legronio joins us with the update. Monica Shugart actually spoke up in court today. What did she have to say? Julie, before Sugar was sentenced, she apologized to business owners, the community, and her family, saying she wants to give back instead of take away. I truly am sorry to my victims and their loved ones um, for any for everything I've caused them. Second, I want to say I'm sorry to the community as a whole um, for making them feel unsafe. Uh, and third. I want to apologize to my family and my loved ones. And when I do get out, I want to give back to the community again instead of take away. Kelly Shugart apologized in front of the court Tuesday before a judge sentenced her to 10 and a half years. The 40-year-old faced 70 different charges but pled guilty to about half. The defendant pled guilty to 34 different distinct counts, 20 counts of non-residential burglary, 12 counts of conspiracy to commit burglary, one count of auto burglary, and one count of attempt to commit a felony, aggravated burglary with a deadly weapon. Police say she went on a crime spree from May to August 2022, accused of burglarizing dozens of local businesses. Police arrested her after a SWAT standoff. The state asked for the maximum penalty under the plea agreement, which was 15 years. They also asked for $71,000 in restitution. Attorney Peter Valencia argued Shugart planned these crimes out in advance. This was not a single impulsive mistake on behalf of the defendant, but a carefully organized plan on her uh, planned to steal from local small businesses. She typically carried out these plans by planning ahead, having equipment. There was approximately 20 separate businesses the defendant unlawfully gained access to and caused business and damage to. The property and merchandise she stole from these businesses. Shugart's lawyer argued her personal life played a role in these crimes. She was in doubt. Uh, I'll get Hannah, and, and at least during that period, um, in her life, she did have um, you know, two beautiful kids, had a family, um, as you can see from this uh, sentencing report, the mitigation report, I should say, um, her life kind of spiraled out of control when um, her, um, you know, her husband had, had committed suicide. Without the plea agreement, Shugart faced more than 50 years behind bars. After pleading guilty, Judge Britt Baca Miller gave her 10 and a half years out of the 15 year maximum. After her release, she'll be on probation for five years and pay back over $70,000 in restitution. All right, Monica, thanks for the update there.